couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which we'll learn I'll Have to Say I Love You in a Song by the late, great Jim Croce. So uh, first I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, chord by chord, with tab right here on the screen as usual. So it goes like this, enjoy. Alright, so before we start, I want to give you a fair warning. This is a pretty confusing arrangement, okay? Even for me, it took me a long time to nail down that take. And I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna confuse myself when I break it down slowly. I'm gonna make a few mistakes, you'll see. Um, because it's a confusing arrangement, because I try to maintain the original picking patterns of the chords, as well as adding the lyric melody to them, and the second guitar licks, the soloing guitar, all together so it can get a little bit confusing just play it slowly practice it slowly if one picking pattern gives you trouble just work on that okay don't work on the entire piece work on it bit by bit okay so you start the intro with an a chord and you play strings five four two six four two five okay and okay, this is the picking pattern A chord, five, four, two, six, four, two, five. Okay? And then you have C sharp minor. You can slide into it if you like. You play the fifth string first, okay? Bar on four, A minor shape, C sharp minor. And you play this. Okay, strings five, three, two, four with your thumb, and then one, two, three. Okay? Then you do the same thing on B minor, two frets down. And then you slide from two to five on the, on the fifth string. So you can let go of that uh, third string at the end and do a long slide. Okay, like Jim Croce does. Okay, or if you like, okay, do the full pattern and then slide. But the original, okay, after the second string, okay, you do a two slide to five and then play the five again. Okay, this is D minor now. So you have, okay, the same chord on four, two, and five. Okay, and, okay, after you do the slide, you play strings five to two, okay, an arpeggio. And then you have the most brilliant picking pattern on an E7 chord I've ever come across, right? This is brilliant. You've never heard E7 played like that. Jim Croce was an absolute genius, both in melody and lyrics, right? It's shame. Just imagine what he could produce had he not prematurely died, so... Okay, so... For E7, you put a D7 shape on 7, 7, 6, 7, on strings 5, 4, and 3, okay? And you play strings 5, yeah, you don't slide, I'm just fooling around. 5, 3, 0, uh, on the E string, and, um, 
Confuse myself. You see? I told you it's confusing. Uh, six on the fourth string, so... Okay? Let's try it again. Strings. Five, three, one, four. Okay? So... Okay? And then you start the second half of the intro, which is the guitar solo. Right with the chords. So let's repeat the pattern again. A... C sharp minor, same with B minor, or like the original, okay? Okay? Without that last four on the third string on B minor. It's your choice. Then you bar two on strings one, two, and three. And you start the solo, right? Like this. So you play the fifth string, the third string on two, and then two hammer on to four on the first string. And then tuple off to zero on E, okay? So you have to take the bar off. And then four on the E string with a bar already because you need to put seven. Um, on the second string with your pinky and put on C sharp minor at the same time. Okay, so. Okay, and then you play the bass. Okay, and then five on the second string, okay? The bass being C sharp, four on the fifth string. So again. Okay, four on the E string is a bar on four. And then seven on the second string. 4 on the 5th string, 5 on the 2nd string, okay? That's the move, okay? Then, okay, it's um, 4, 5 on strings uh, 5 and 2, and then, okay, it's 7 pull off to 4 on the E string, 7 pull off to 5 on the B string, okay? So you get this, okay? And then you have another 7 on the E string, but this time you bar for B7, okay? And you do the same thing you did on 4, but on 7 and 10. 7 on the E string with a bar, and 10 on the 2nd string, and then the B bass for B minor, okay? 7 on the 6th string. I told you it's a little bit confusing, okay? And then, okay? And then you just play 7 strings, 6, 3, 2, 1, okay? B minor. So it was this. Okay, got it? 7, 10. Strings 1 and 2 with a bar on 7 and then... Okay, and then you can play the bass again. 10, 10 on the 2nd string. Then you do this. Okay? It's D minor. It's uh, 0, 10, 10, 10 on strings 4 to 1. Then E. And then 9 on the E string. Okay? Okay, now, if you leave the D string ringing, you get an E7 sound, okay? Because it's there, it's an E7. So, that's why I don't mind leaving it, but you can mute it, okay? Okay, and just mute and play the E bass, okay? If you like it clean. And that's a solo. Bar. Bar. Okay, on the second 10, you can change to a, another bar. Okay, another bar. For D minor. And then the E. Um, the E. Um, the E6 chord. Okay, it's E6. It's, it's, it's the sixth. Um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant solo. Um, and then the verse is relatively easy next to that. Um, you don't really have time on the first verse to do... Okay, because you're doing the solo. Unless you do it really quickly. Okay, but... 
then why play the last note? So you can just start with A, two on the second string, or zero on the second string and then put A on. Okay, and then you have. But if you want to maintain the melody, just play the nine for a second and then play two on the third string, open second string, and then A with two on the second string, then okay, um, zero, zero, two, zero on the E string, okay? And you can keep the, the picking pattern. Okay, with your thumb, just playing the bass and the fourth string as an alternating bass. Okay, and then you have this. Okay, like the uh, the same C sharp minor solo of the intro. Okay, four on the fifth, five on the second, and then seven pull off to four on E, seven pull off to five on B, and then seven on the E string, and then you take this whole shape down two frets to B minor. Okay, and you play five on the E string, and then you have this. Okay, and you can play the B minor line. Okay, so. The pinky move is the important one. Okay? That way you have C sharp minor 7 to B minor 7. So, okay? So, this is one of the crucial movements uh, in the arrangement. Uh, in, in the arrangement. Uh, singular. Okay? Might be plural, might be one of the most crucial moves I've ever done in an arrangement, but I wouldn't check this. Who has the time? And then um, five on the second string for B minor, and you play the bass, and then you have okay, uh, three, three, two on the second string. You can pull it off. Okay, you can play the whole B minor chord. You can let go of the pinky here. Okay, and then and then put the chord four on the third string, two on the second string, two on the second string again open second string okay and after the two okay you play the d bass because now it's d minor again so it's and then you have just an e arpeggio okay e major string six four three two okay so which also kind of starts the verse again so you repeat everything okay Pinky, whole chord down. Okay, and then you have the verse, D. Okay, it's just a D chord, bass, you can play it any way you want, the chord itself. It's 2-2-2-2 two, 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 two on the E string. And then it's the same note, okay, 7-7 seven, seven on the 6th string, with a G-sharp 7 chord. Okay, so it's a bar on four, seven on the second string, and uh, five on the third. And you can just play strings two, three, four, and six. So, um, and then strings one, two on four and seven, it's in the chord. And then you have, and then it's this, okay? Another one of those uh, little guitar licks there. So it's C sharp minor, 5-5 five, five on the second string, okay, uh, into the chord, and then 6-6-4 six, six, on the third string, and then it's F sharp minor. So I bar 2 and put 4 on the fourth string. I play strings 3, 4, and 6, and then I play two on the um, two on the uh, third, two on the second, and then five on the E string. Okay, so okay, you can also play okay, strings four, three, and then five on the E string, and then D again, two on the E string. Uh, that's your melody note, so you can play the whole chord, and then you have. Okay, two hammer on to four on the third string, and then A again. Two on the second string, 
Okay, E string twice, two on the third, uh, on the second string again. So basically, it's um, told you it's confusing. F sharp minor, five and D. Hammer on to four on the third string. I warned you, I was gonna get confused myself. I'm <clears throat> having a little bit of trouble following my own arrangement. Mind that, and then just shows you how good Jim Croce was. Um, and then A, two on the E string, op uh, two on the B string, open E string twice, two on the B string. It's an A chord, and um, E, E major with two zero on the second string. Okay, so it's. And then two pull after one, two on the third string, and then you have. It's in the original song, this lick. Um, it's 0 2 2 on the fourth, third, and first strings. This is a D chord, but then you have 4 2 on the E string, guitar lick. So, um, With, uh, it's A9, A at 9, it's uh, A with 7 on the E string. So I play 7, 5, 6 on strings 1, 2, and 3 with the A bass, the 5th string. And you can end there, or uh, just play the verse and the chorus again, and then end there. Or play the intro again, and then end there. It's, uh, it's your choice. So, um, yeah, this is a really good... So uh, the tab is for free, the link is below in the description, and uh, before you go download the tab from the website, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, I don't see why not, check the playlist, it's full of lessons, it's a treasure trove of lessons, over 300 lessons, uh, over 350 if I'm not mistaken already, but um, that doesn't matter, it's, it's, a, it's a free source of guitar education, so subscribe. The tab also is for free, uh, as I said, the link is in the description, but you'll also see a Patreon page link if you want to give something back um, and help me out in making you these lessons. Everything you choose to give goes right back into your guitar education, and I thank you in advance for your generosity for anything you choose to give, anything you choose to pledge, anything you choose to donate. If you want to make a one-time donation, there is the old uh, donation button on the website, the PayPal donation button. I'd appreciate anything, and I thank you in advance, as I said. Thank you also for watching this. You go have fun with this. Bye. Enjoy.